pitch. It looks like they're going four wide to five wide, but they're side by side. Connor is sideways, absolutely sideways for the last few corners. Oh, but he's off in the gravel and he spins. Rob has made a bit of a dive. It's actually hit his teammate Craig. And so they've all got stuck in the gravel. And Joe gets the switch back to fantastic racing. Look at that. It's Oh, contact, but it's Rubbings Racing. Joe McCall takes his first ever win just ahead of Connor. The fantastic race. He's going to take the sixth. Or is it? Oh, it just gets him. And is Darren going to take it? No, he doesn't. Mark Nicholl takes the race. Josh is the independence champion for season three. Craig Kelly is your season three winner and champion. The reverse grid draw happened for the Bathurst night racing with the numbers just from six to nine randomly drawn and the number six was drawn out which puts Tom Foster on pole position in his Renault Megane for KTEC racing next to Darren Parker in the Mazda Atenza for Team Redeem. Row two is Harry Cook in the other Mazda Atenzas for Team Redeem next to uh, Mike Coma for MCR Storm in the VW Schrocco. Row three is uh, Kieran Thomas in the other KTEC racing Renault Megane next to Craig Kelly in the Elite Racing Ford Mustang. Row four is the other Elite Racing Ford Mustang of Rob Pellet next to uh, Joe Burrows of HP Motorsports in the High Die Genesis. And at the back of grid is Joe McCall in the Team Snap-on Nissan GTR. Okay, here we go then. This is the Bathurst Night Race, Race 3 uh, for the event here. And it's the halfway point of the season. Tom Foster is on pole with Darren Parker, but Darren gets the better start. And Harry gets a great start as well in second. And that's Joe Burrows on the grass, trying to overtake on the outside. So all getting round the first corner and up they go into the straight. So, as you can see, you can barely see anything, just the cars in front of you. Uh, and if the cars do hit the grass, the dirt kicks up, uh, making it even difficult, more difficult for visibility. So Harry is in second, still with Darren in first. So the two Team Redeem Mazda Atenzas are uh, making a strong start here. Uh, and they will most definitely work well together, uh, keeping everyone else behind them. So this is Tom on the outside of uh, Craig then and uh, the move doesn't work so Craig stays in third uh, in fifth is Joe Burrows he's, he's made great progress and a good start uh, early into this race Rob is just behind him and then there's Joe McCall and uh, Kieran and Mike uh, at the back of the grid here so I'm bored with Kieran and as you can see well there's contact already oh, I think that's Joe Burrows has hit the wall Mike Comer struggling as well So uh, it's uh, got a little bit uh, difficult for the guys to get around the first few corners uh, without hitting the walls uh, early into this race. So Darren's already uh, making some uh, good headway into the lead uh, with uh, Harry comfortably in second, seeing those brakes glowing in the cars with Tom right behind uh, Craig here. So Tom is pushing Craig uh, around this first lap. Of course, Tom was on pole position and getting the bad start has pushed him all the way down to uh, fourth and uh, he's now really really putting under pressure uh, Craig Kellett in front of him Tom has got the move and I think he's got it done and uh, Craig mo moves onto the grass so uh, that slowed him down and uh, potentially into the palms of uh, Rob here who's uh, his teammate but Rob gives him a little friendly tap uh, to get him going again and uh, that's a slow exit for Craig so Rob is side by side with his teammate Craig and he's going to get past him into the first left hander onto lap two then Mike Coma also on the back of this grid uh, this group here So the VW Scirocco will be just a little bit quicker up the straights. It's going to be difficult for him to overtake around 
the next few parts of the well, essentially the sector of the, the circuit is incredibly difficult to overtake and that's uh, Joe the two Joes and Kieran getting uh, very close here at the back so Kieran uh, is right in a uh, in the middle of the two Joes and Kieran looking to see if he can overtake and that's not worked and that's all three of them all three going wide into the the scrape of the sides of the walls so this is uh, slowing them down dramatically they're not going to catch up with the pack after doing this so uh, really interesting racing uh, and great to watch but uh, of course it's not going to help them one bit that's Joe McCall we'll going wildly into the corner there. So up the front, that Darren still leads. Harry still in second. Tom is still in third. Craig is... Sorry, it's Rob. It's after hard to see the colour difference. Uh, it's Rob and then Craig. Uh, and then Mike Comer still behind Craig here. So let's go on board with uh, Mike uh, to see if he can make some progress. So into the left-hander, there was a little bit of uh, dirt uh, kicked up there, but I don't think anyone's gone off. So can Tom catch up with uh, the two Team Redeem Mazdas after he's uh, managed to get away from Craig here? So this is still an interesting fight here between Mike and uh, Craig and Mike has just not quite had the confidence in overtaking Craig yet yeah, of course Mike is on uh, the tyres uh, so he's on the softs he's chosen to put them on for this particular night race and uh, at the moment he's uh, it's proven for him difficult to get past Craig So not confident in the corners and that looks like Rob has caught up with Tom so Rob is on the back of Tom here and uh, looks like he could get the overtake on the outside and he does he gets it done that's a great overtake from uh, Rob there really confident and uh, he had balls of steel to go on the outside to get that uh, overtake done and can he get away from Tom now uh, to catch up with the two redeemed Mansters uh, to see if he could stop them from getting a 1-2 of course having the Mazdas up the front uh, is going to be really really good for them in the points in the team's uh, championship which of course uh, they are already leading um, so it could push them uh, quite far into the lead uh, going into round six uh, and making it difficult for anyone else to really uh, catch them up towards the end of the season just looking at it team redeem have been strong at dragon trail and here at Barfa. so can anyone really put a fight to them now things are developing into the business part of the season so tom is trying to regain his position on the podium after rob gets the great overtaken rob goes wide and he's outbraked himself tom nearly goes wide as well and uh, rob's gone off onto the grass he's gone wide on the exit as well so that's allowed tom back into third so tom regains his podium position and rob slots into fourth but he has plenty of laps to try that again and craig will no doubt uh, defend and uh, help him behind with Mike Comer who's dropped off a little bit he's not quite as close uh, to Craig as what he was beforehand Kieran now catching Mike Comer uh, so Kieran has uh, got away from the two Joes at the back and uh, is on his way to up to sixth uh, to put a fight against uh, Mike and there is uh, Joe who's drifting around the corner and there's Joe McCall as well at the back so Darren and it's to see all the brakes are glowing red and it's a real great spectacle here for the night race especially up the uh, mountain section here where there's absolutely no uh, floodlit lights um, so it's all down to the uh, car headlights uh, so one of only a few circuits that uh, can hold a night race uh, one of the other ones being Le Mans and Le Mans was first held in season three but of course that was just a, a day race maybe a future event to, to be held there 
for the night race. Tom slightly wide on the grass. Get a little bit untidy. And uh, Rob is still on the back of Tom here. Tom has gapped a little bit, but uh, Rob will no doubt give it another go. Uh, look at this, Mike Comer has got the overtake done on Craig on the outside, so let's go on board with Craig. Can Craig come back at Mike? This is great racing between the two. Mike was very patient and uh, he managed to get the slipstream down the straight, looks like, uh, and a really, really clean overtake, uh, which is uh, great for Mike. Oh, he's on the grass, though, on the exit of the last turn over the line then so uh, Rob, Mike Comer and uh, Craig could end up in a bit of a battle here uh, Kieran not too uh, far off in the distance so he could catch up soon if the three of these end up fighting Joe Burrows still in 8th with Joe McCall still close enough behind him to catch up Potentially. So at the moment, it's still a masterclass in uh, teams' uh, performance for Redeem here with uh, Harry and Darren. Now, will Harry catch up with Darren now that they're comfortably in the lead to see if he can put a fight on and uh, take his first win? Oh, he hits the wall. There will be some team strategy, of course, and uh, whether there's discussion on how the two will uh, take the race from here will remain to be seen towards the end part of this race. So Tom has just got a little bit further ahead of Rob and uh, more contact with the wall there. And that looks like Craig has got past Mike Comer again. So Mike, uh, <laughs> struggle to maintain that lead and in actual fact it looks like he's uh, a, a fair bit behind Craig now as he must have made a mistake somewhere or the two have battled it out can Kieran catch up I think I think Kieran's dropped off a little bit as well unfortunately so Elite Racing will be Looking to get some good points here as well as uh, Rob is fighting up the front with Craig. And Craig is uh, not uh, as far up as we would expect him. So it's slightly bunching up a little bit mid pack. Further down, the two Joes are still as they are and uh, nothing really changing there and Joe McCall is probably trying really hard to see if he can catch up uh, here so we're on to lap 6 of 9 then and uh, it is turning out at the moment to be quite a quiet race um, especially up the front compared to race 1 A slight tap of the wall from Tom there. Oh, more contact with the wall. That's Craig. And the sparks that uh, come off the car as you hit the wall light up the track. And that's... Oh, I was going to say, I thought Rob was off the circuit then and uh, he's probably just caught the grass. And uh, there, when the, uh, the dirt is uh, kicked up uh, with the lights here... Oh! contact with the wall there from Mike uh, when the uh, the dirt is kicked up it looks a, a, a little bit more dramatic than you would have uh, probably expected in a normal race uh, Craig has opted for the much more yellow 
looking lights. And you can really tell the difference. So Craig and uh, Rob having a bit of a battle here. Again, more team play could be happening. Kieran running a little bit wide, but Kieran, look, has got uh, his ice. He's got his uh, sights on uh, Mike Comer here, and potentially the two Elite Racing Mustangs, uh, as uh, they are not too far off of him now. Joe McCall was caught up slightly with Joe Burrow, so this fight could be on. We've kept an eye on it. And is Harry going to catch up with Darren to push for the win? Craig. Still. Oh! Oh, wow. Rob, a little bit edgy there. And um, he was just nearly losing the back end of his Mustang. And nearly put it into the wall. But he kept control. And two working well together here. And as long as they don't get to, too involved with each other. In the meantime, Kieran has caught up with Mike Comer, so he is putting him under pressure here. He's in the slipstream now, so Kieran could easily put in a fight, although Mike looks much quicker through this twisty mountain section here. He runs wide, and that's Kieran's got a better exit, and he's got the slipstream, so Kieran could make an overtake on uh, Mike Comer here. Oh, Mike defends, and they're now side by side as they go up over the crest. Great racing between the two. It looks amazing in the night. Uh, Mike, oh, he just about goes for another O-take, but he holds back. So uh, it looks like Kieran's run a little bit wide, and he does. So on board with Mike Comer then. He is right on the back end of uh, Kieran. And uh, he's holding off for an overtake, but uh, I think maybe waiting for Kieran to make a mistake, but they are really close together here. No room for error for Kieran. Kieran's just about got that little bit of a gap here on the pull away from the corner. Mike now with his hazard lights on. So the two Joes right together as well. Joe McCall looks like he's going to make an overtake. He's gone on the outside, so a bit of a risky place to be. Can he get it and make it stick? Oh, he runs wide. Oh, contact. It's, oh, that was close racing, but it's, he's managed to get it done. That was great from Joe McCall. Going on the outside. Oh, but he goes into the wall. The two nearly go into the wall, and both of them <laughs> get a poor exit uh, and they continue on with this great battle so Darren still leads in Harry still in second Tom in third uh, with Craig now ahead of Rob so C Rob must have uh, either let him pass or uh, has uh, had a bit of a, an issue so still a great little battle here between Kieran and Mike and Kieran uh, and Mike just uh, you can tell the difference between some of the lines that they're taking they're really close Mike is so much quicker in some areas can Mike make a dive on the next corner Did he? Oh, no he doesn't I was going to say he looked like he might have done uh, but he's quick round there really quick he's going to put the pressure on Kieran here
super close now. Back on board with Mike. On to the final lap. So Joe McCall now has uh, got away from Joe Burrows after Joe being uh, the one to uh, be more uh, dominant uh, early in this race. And is that Harry looking just that little bit closer to Darren here? Uh, I think he is. He's managed to catch him. Uh, so there could be a potential battle in here. Uh, will they be silly and ruin it for themselves? Uh, or will Harry hold back and just take a, a decent second for uh, the race with the Redeem 1-2 being the most important part of the race? Tom looking comfortable on his own. But Elliot Racing also very close together. Rob is on the back of Craig here. Could Rob get the overtake on Craig? So, yeah, fascinating into this race here with in, in regards to teams <laughs> working together. So Kieran and Mike still going at it. So yeah, that battle's still going on. Joe McCall still ahead of Joe Burrows. But Darren, oh, is he's even closer to Harry. So Harry could, oh no, he's on the grass and that's gonna slow him on the exit. But ultimately, it's a fantastic performance from Team Redeem. Darren Parker and Harry Cook here have dominated in the night race at Bathurst, Mount Panorama. Darren takes first, Harry takes second, but it's a Team 1-2 for Redeem. Tom Foster is going to come away with third for KTEC in the Renault. It's fourth and fifth for Elite Racing in the Mustangs for Craig and for Rob. Mike Kakoma gets it in the end ahead of Kieran. Uh, after a great little battle between them and uh, Joe McCall here is going to just about finish ahead of Joe Burrows after a, uh, a great little battle between those two uh, for the last two positions. So Joe McCall was eighth and Joe Burrows is ninth. It's a dominant 1-2 then for the Mazda Tensors of Team Redeem. Darren Parker getting the win. Harry Cook in second with Tom Foster in third in the last podium position. Craig Kellett and Rob Pellett in fourth and fifth, both for Team Ellett. With Mike Coma in sixth, with Kieran in seventh, uh, Joe McCall in eighth and Joe Burrows at the back in ninth. Darren Parker continues to lead the championship then, uh, but much more substantially ahead of Craig. 217 points, Darren, with Craig on 194, and he's still fairly ahead of uh, Harry Cook, who is now in third joint with Mike Coma, both on 174. Tom is on 173 in fifth, with Kieran on 165, so fairly close up at the front there. Uh, Gary on 150 as he didn't uh, score any points with Mike Kuypers also not scoring 121. Uh, Mark Nick on 100 after missing two rounds now and Joe Burrows up to 10th uh, with 91 points. In the teams, uh, Team Redeem are on 387 uh, and they're still fairly ahead now in the lead with KTEC up to second, 335, MCR Storm 318 in third. Elite Racing still in fourth, 282 as KN dropped down 215 earlier in after the first few races. HP Motorsports 180, Team Snap on 109 and uh, of course Team Speedy no longer a part of the series. In the Rookie Cup then, um, <clears throat> Harry Cook is on a hunt. In the Rookie Cup then, Harry Cook is in the lead with 250 points. Mike Comer is second, 215, with Gary Black, 206, Rob Pellet 188, and Luke Knox is quite far behind in 76.